Becoming successful Shopify dropshipper, like a lot of these YouTubers you see, is enticing for so many people. I get it. I've been there. It's intoxicating to think that the formula to fuck you money and Lambos is simply find a winning product on AliExpress or wherever, throw it up on a Shopify store, and run some ads to it. But deep down, we all know that it's really not that simple. So eventually, you decide to learn more about it and take it somewhat seriously. One video tells you that the problem is your product. So you try product after product thinking that that's the issue. One video tells you that the problem is your website. So you spend more money on apps that they recommend and hours tweaking the layout of your landing page in hopes that the issue was simply your conversion rate. And another video tells you that the problem is your ad creatives. So you spend days trying to record and edit them yourself or even hundreds of dollars purchasing them from a company that specializes in that. And eventually, after enough videos, time spent, and money spent, you come to the realization that it's not as easy as everyone makes it out to be. And that's why, in this video, I wanna cover why you should forget Shopify and dropship elsewhere instead. I'm not saying that you can't be successful running ads to a Shopify store. You certainly can. But for most people without a multi-thousand dollar budget that you're willing to lose in order to test products, you're better off going in so many other directions. See, if you're running ads on popular ad platforms like TikTok, Facebook, or Google, in order to buy traffic to your product listings, it's extremely difficult to stay profitable consistently. And while the reward for finding a profitable product and ad campaign that drives sales consistently is certainly high, that reward can be short-lived since often other competitors will flood into the market and drive your ad costs up once they realize it's working for you. Not to mention, it can cost you hundreds, often thousands of dollars to realistically test a product in the first place. That means that you can waste thousands of dollars just testing products with no promise of ever finding a winner. And most of these Shopify videos would have you believe that you only need a budget of 50 or as little as $10 a day in order to test these products. And then of course you can shut down the campaign if it's not working for you and just move on to testing the next product. But the truth is that's never going to be enough data overall to make an informed decision about whether a product in an ad campaign is a long-term winner or not. And and deep down, we all know this, but the small chance that it could work often overrides our logic. I've been an entrepreneur for something like six years now. I've been able to work for myself on my own schedule, buy a new car, this house, provide a comfortable life for my wife and I, and save and invest plenty of extra money towards our family's future. And saying that isn't me intending to brag. It's simply so you know I at least have a competent grasp on the basics of running a business. And I've learned through experience that the last thing you wanna do when starting a business is to get on the hamster wheel of constantly burning money. Starting a business is hard enough but trying to out earn your mistakes when you're starting will make it next to impossible. Instead, you should look for opportunities where there's a lot of potential upside, but hardly any downside risk, which is why I don't recommend Shopify dropshipping to beginners or mostly anyone. I personally recommend dropshipping on retail websites instead. Dropshipping on sites like Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and others like them is literally the best online business that you can start right now. It has all the upside of a dropshipping business. You don't need a warehouse to store inventory. You don't need to spend any money on products before you actually sell them. You don't need to fulfill or ship orders yourself. You don't even need much money to start. And you have location freedom because you can work from anywhere in the world. But it also has none of the downside risk of spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars to find out if a product's even viable in the first place. The reason for that is there's already customers on these websites already looking for products. And that means you only need to spend your time listing these products in order to make sales. And the only risk is your effort, not losing lots of money. Plus there's even software out there that will list to these websites with the click of a button. So you're really not wasting much time at all. For example, two software programs that I consistently recommend are ZDrop and List Perfectly. These softwares copy products in bulk from website to website. They copy the title, description, and pictures of a product in literally seconds and also mark the price up to a certain percentage so if it sells, you make money. And this is how my team and I are able to put hundreds of products up across many different websites every single day, sometimes even more. Plus, if you don't feel like doing it yourself or if you already have a job or you have something else going on, then you can hire somebody to do it for you for as little as $2 on a site like Fiverr 
or onlinejobs.ph. And I have tutorials on all of this on this channel for free. From Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, to Amazon dropshipping, to eBay dropshipping, to hiring a virtual assistant to run your online business for you and exactly how to do that. So if you're interested in learning any of it, it's all there for you. Retail dropshipping on sites like these is great for beginners because you can get started with little to no money at all, unlike Shopify, and it's also extremely scalable too. But you don't have to take my word for it. Check out a tutorial or two, even if you're skeptical Try out what you learn in the videos and see if it works for you. I'm willing to bet it will. And I'll link a Facebook Marketplace dropshipping tutorial up in the right-hand corner right now if you want to check it out. It'll teach you the basics of how to use ZDrop to list there in literally seconds. That way, you can get started immediately and start making money today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any value from it whatsoever, please give it a like. I genuinely appreciate it. Until next time.